Hi, today's tutorial is about T-Sorter component. T-Sorter component is used to sort the data flow and also allows the advanced sorting capabilities like multi-column sorting, ascending, descending sorting, alphabetical sorting. Firstly, we create a job with the job name as demo underscore sort. Under metadata file delimited, taking already created employee file delimited, drag and drop as t file input delimited component. Now I want to load the data to the table. I have already created the Oracle database under DB connection, drag and drop the Oracle database and select the T Oracle output because we are loading the data to the Oracle table. Type the component name as T Sartro and double click on the component. Now select the icon, right click and select the row main and connect to the T Sartro from T Sartro component to the T Oracle output component. In the t Sartre component under basic settings click on the plus button. Now we have the options like employee number, employee name, salary, HRA, department number, department name, location in the schema column section. These are the column names of the employee file. If we check the employee input file in the specific path. We have some 16,910 records in the employee input file. We will observe the column names as employee number, employee name, salary, HRA, department number, department name, location in the t Sartro component are same as the input of the employee input file. Another option is sort number or alpha. So depending upon the specific column, so we have to select the value whether it is number, alpha or date value. So I am selecting the number value for the salary column and the last option is ascending order or descending. So we have to arrange them in ascending or descending order. So I am selecting the option to the ascending order. So once we will check that the salary is number and it is sorting to the ascending order. The t Sartro component is ready. Here the file is input and oracle is output. Once double click on the t oracle output component, make sure to write the table name here. So I am writing the table name as sort underscore demo and changing the action on table as drop table if exist and create. So if the same table name exists, it will drop the table and recreates once again. So the job is ready. We will run the job and check the output. So click on the run tab for execution. So the data from the input file delimited is loaded to the T Oracle component. So here 16,910 files from the input is loaded to the database here. To check the files are loaded into database, so I am using the Oracle 11G Express Edition. To check whether the data is loaded into database or not, so we have to use the syntax as select star from the table name. So here the table name is sort underscore demo. So if we run this, we will be getting the table here with the salary is in ascending order. I will change the salary to the descending order and check the output once again. So run the syntax and check the output now. And the, now the salary is changed to the descending order.
Now we will check the advanced sorting capabilities like multi column sorting. To do this I will add another column to sort. I am adding the department number column here. So the department number is number and sorting to the ascending order. And salary is number and it is sorting to the descending order. If we check the previous output, the department number is not sorted here. Now we will be sorting the department number record and salary record. So both the columns will be sorted here in the multi-column sorting. Firstly, it will sort the department number to the ascending order. So within that department number, again the salary is sorted to the descending order. So let's run the job and check the result here. So if we check the result, the department number records are sorted in ascending order. So within the department number, the salary is again sorted into the descending order. So we can change the order as many times as for our requirement. Now again run the job and we will check the result. The department number records are sorted in descending order. Within the department number, the salary is sorted in ascending order. Hope you understand about TSART row component and its functions and its operations in the Talent Open Studio. If you have any questions, let me know at the comment box. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and click the bell icon for notification. For more videos, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Tech Tutorials. Thank you.